Hey guys, so I definitely have a lot to show you. Sorry, my camera seems dirty. Anyways, I definitely have a lot to show you. I got a bunch of stuff in this week, um, so I'm just going to get right into it. So on Monday, I received a trade I did with someone over Instagram. Um, I've been wanting these for a while, and we just never could work out a trade until recently. Um, so I'm very, very happy with this. I'm trying to get the main cast of this show. The show is 90210. Um, I have three of the main characters so far. Um, I'm going to get a fourth character in soon from Autograph World. Um, I literally only have like four bucks left in my account because I spent the rest of my money on Autograph World because there were autographs I really wanted. And yeah, but unfortunately now I can't buy any more. <laughs> but that's okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'll have four of the main characters and I will still need more of them, but I will let you know in a second who those are. But the trade was for um, actor Tristan Wilds. He's also a rapper or singer, whatever you want to call him. But awesome 8x10 photo of Tristan Wilds. He played Annie's brother Dixon on the TV show 90210. Um, I was obsessed and addicted with that show. I loved it. And I was super sad when it went off air. Um, I was totally into it. Um, and then the second person from 90210 that I got from her was this awesome, awesome... Shanae Grimes Auto. Um, now she was also in Degrassi too. She played Darcy. Um, loved that show. Um, <sighs> last time I watched it was probably in like 2011 because I just I just couldn't keep up with it. So that was probably the last time I watched the show. But I know it's still on. Um, but yeah, I loved 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 the old Degrassi when they were when she was on it and stuff like that. But Shanae Grimes is there. Really really happy about this because um, clearly that cast is super hard to get TTM. They don't sign at all. Um, so if any of you guys know people, or if you guys have autographs of Matt Lanter, Michael Steger, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Matt, Matt Lanter, Michael Steger, Jessica Loundis, um, Jessica Stroop, um, Dustin Mulligan, and pretty much just like those characters um, from 90210. I already have, I have Lori Laughlin who was in it. I have Anna Lynn McCord. I have Sinead Grimes. And I have Tristan Wilds now. So if any of you guys have any of those characters that I need, please let me know. Um, that would be great. Um, but anyways, that's what I got on Monday. Tuesday, I got um, a trade-in and a purchase-in. Um, uh, I guess we'll do the trade. So the trade I got in was this awesome, awesome cd booklet that was signed by a band that i love they're so good they're from the uk of course but they're amazing i saw them recently live in concert um with demi lovato um and yeah i've been wanting an autograph for a while now um and finally got it and it's this little mix signed cd booklet um all four of them signed it really really awesome really super happy about it and it's kind of bigger than a regular size cd booklet but don't matter. Really, really happy about this. Super, super. I was so happy when um, I traded for that. Um, and then the purchase I got in, best $12 I've spent. <laughs> um, and it's from actress Jennifer Rhodes. Um, she's been in a lot of things. I mostly know her as um, the character Grams on the TV show Charmed. Um, clearly, you guys should know already that Charmed is like my favorite TV show of all time. Um, like I said, this tattoo basically represents Charmed. That's how much it means to me. Um, anyways, she sells um, signed autograph photos off her website for twelve bucks. That's it. Um, if you're in, if you're international, then it's fifteen bucks. But still, that's really good. Um, but awesome, awesome eight by ten. She's dressed as Grams from the show. She personalizes it. It says to Amy, best witches, Jennifer Rhodes Grams. So I mean, for twelve dollars, couldn't go wrong. Um, trying to get the cast of that show, too. Um, I have Alyssa, Shannon, Holly, and Jennifer Rhodes. Um, I would still, I still really need Brian Krause. Um, he's just, like, impossible to get, but I really need his freaking autograph to, like, complete it. Oh, I also have Julian McMahon, too, so that's awesome. Um, but I pretty much need Brian Krause, um, Dorian Gregory, Ted King, Finola Hughes, um, I think that's pretty much it for, like, the main, main characters that I need, but, yeah. Um, 
um, nothing on Wednesday. Did get one trade in on Thursday. Um, it was for this awesome 8x10 of um, Gabriel Glacius, um, a fellow collector named Kyle. I don't know if he's on YouTube or not, but um, as you can see, his name's up here. But um, he was kind enough to trade this with me. I was going to write to him, but I just don't have, you know, the the stamps, or I didn't really have the money to, you know, purchase photos for him to sign, or just, you know, stuff like that, but he was kind enough to trade this with me, um, I think he got really lucky with, um, he actually signing, because I know he really doesn't do it often, so, I was like, hey, if you want to trade, let me know, and we worked out an awesome trade, and I ended up getting Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias, and he's freaking hilarious, he's a comedian, if you don't know, um, he's, He's one of my favorites, but Georgia Lopez definitely has to be, like, my favorite, along with Kathy Griffin. She's hilarious. I need her in my collection, too, but she doesn't sign TTM at all, either, so she's one I have to buy as well. Um, if you guys have Kathy Griffin, let me know. I'm willing to trade. Um, anyways, yeah, that was Thursday. Friday, I got in a huge trade. Um, first, I will show you um, the actual autographs that I got from the actual trade, because he sent me a ton of extras, but, um, Paul's Autographs, I think that's his name here on YouTube, I don't think he makes videos, but he's also on Facebook, um, he had two autographs that I really wanted, and we traded, so the first one was this awesome 4x6 photo of Rupert Grint, aka Ron Weasley from, um, Harry, the Harry Potter movies. Now, I did, I did have a success with him on Broadway. Um, I sent him two index cards and, like, a printed out photo from my computer that was horrible quality, and, um, I saw Paul had good quality photos, and, um, I asked him if he was willing to trade one, and, yeah, so now I have a good quality photo signed by Rupert, um, which is great. And then he had this awesome, um, Steve-O signed photo. He had two, so I was asking, uh, so I asked him if he was willing to, uh, trade one, and he was. Um, now, I did, e I have emailed Steve-O before, um, when I first started collecting, but I think he, like, stopped signing by the time I was starting to collect. Um, so, really, really happy. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can get his name off, but personalizations don't really matter. As long as the autograph is there, I'm pretty happy about it. So, really, really happy about that. And then he sent me a ton of extras. Um, he sent me, let's see, he sent me four signed cards. Now, I don't collect cards anymore, as you guys should know. Um, but he sent me an Olympic signed card by Missy Franklin. She won the gold medal, I think, at the Olympics for swimming. Um, the Olympic cards I'm okay with. They're awesome. I think they look really cool signed. So I can make an exception for those. Um, he also sent me an Adam Heinrich, or Henrik, um, hockey autograph card for the New Jersey Devils, that looks awesome, I mean, I guess if they're, um, in-person signed cards, or TTM signed cards, they're cool, um, hockey, I can kind of make an exception, but, like I said, I don't really like to collect cards, but he was super kind enough to add them, I'm super, super thankful for it, so he did that one, and then he sent me this Martin Byron autograph card, I believe he's retired, but he was, he last played for the New York Rangers, and then he sent me this Josh Hamilton signed baseball card. Uh, he used to play for the Texas Rangers, but now he plays for the Angels, um, which I do like the Angels, and I do like the Dodgers, but too bad the Dodgers are horrible <laughs> sometimes. But yeah, uh, he sent me those. Um, I probably will end up maybe trading the baseball one. I don't know. Um, cards just aren't really my forte, but I don't mind if they're given to me as extras, because I do really, really appreciate them. Um, and then he also sent me this awesome, awesome Tom Daly autographed postcard. Um, I tried emailing him because I know he was sending them out, and I never got anything. So really, really happy about this because, one, he's cute, and two, um, he he's an awesome diver at the Olympics. I think he won bronze. So really happy about that. And then he, signed, he sent me an index card that he signed, so that's his autograph, so that's really cool. Um, he sent me this awesome Felix Baumgartner, um, flyer thing here, so that's awesome. I'm actually going to send to him soon, um, I have some photos, so, yeah, that's, that was really cool. And then he sent me this awesome, um, signed Rock of Ages playbill. I ha already have one, but this one has different, um, a few different people on it than my other one, um, 
So yeah, um, this may be for trade later. I, mean, I don't know. I may trade it. I may keep it. Who knows? But he was super kind enough to send me this. And I was just like in shock because I was not expecting him to send me that. And then he also sent me this awesome playbill signed by the cast of Mamma Mia. So that was freaking awesome. Um, I was not expecting him to send me that many extras. I was just super in shock. Um, so that was super awesome. Thank you, Paul, if you're watching this. Thank you again. Um, just super awesome. You're too kind. Um, and today I got in two email successes. The first one is from voice actor slash actor Phil Proctor. Um, he sends these signed postcards out. Um, he's voiced a ton of characters and different things. Um, I mostly know him for voicing Howard on the TV show Rugrats. So pretty freaking awesome. Um, I have few the I have a few characters from Rugrats in my collection. And then another email success is from voice actor Brian Sommer. He's voiced a ton of different characters in video games. Um, super nice on email. Um, he asked me if there were like any kind of characters that he voiced that he would, you know, that I would like him to sign a photo of. Um, I mostly know him from the Walking Dead video games. He voiced Pete and Danny St. John. So um, I asked him if he had any photos of those people, and he said yes. So he sent those, and he signed them. And then he even sent me an email telling me that he sent the photos out. So, I mean, that's just freaking awesome right there. Um, first thing he sent me was this little nice um, card. I have it taped down, but um, it says, Amy, thanks for enjoying my work. All my best to you, Brian. His signature is pretty awesome, too. And then he kind of just sent me this promo photo um, of himself with all the different characters around him. And he signed an awesome gel pen. That's freaking cool. It says, Amy, thanks for listening. Brian Sommer. This one's kind of hard to see, but I mean, it's super awesome in person. Um, and then he, this is his character, um, Danny St. John, I think, from the first Walking Dead video game. Um, and it says, Amy, dinner is going to be a good one. He, it's the cannibal from the first video game, Danny St. John. He's one of the cannibals. Um, yeah, one of the brothers. And it says, dinner's going to be a good one, Brian Sommer. So he signed that in an awesome green gel pen. Looks awesome in person. And then he signed this one. This is his character, Pete, in the second Walking Dead video game, um, where you play as Clementine um, on her own and stuff like that. Um, so this is his character Pete from that game, and it just says to Amy and Brian Sommer in a really cool purple marker, so probably one of the coolest email successors I've got. Um, he was super nice, and just, you know, the, the colors he signed the photos in and all that was just super awesome, so really happy about this week. Definitely got in a ton of things that, um, were just awesome. Glad I can add them all to my collection, um... And, yeah, it definitely was a great week. April has been good to me so far. Um, hope it has for you. Hopefully next week I get in more things. Sorry about the long videos. I guess I just get in a lot of things, and I like to talk a lot. But um, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys message me about trading, make sure to look at your messages. I know YouTube probably doesn't really notify you anymore, um, but you have to go to YouTube.com slash my underscore messages and I'll take you to your inbox um, because I've had a few people do that and they just haven't answered back so I don't know if they're like on their YouTube a lot or if they just don't check their mail like their messages on YouTube or if they just don't get notifications so if you have messaged me I promise I have messaged you back um, you just have to like type in youtube.com slash my underscore messages and it'll take you to your inbox but anyways guys thank you so much for watching again and I will see you next week Bye.